So welcome to week five, the long stretch video series. This is one of my favourite exercises to do, partly because I'm not too bad at it and I'm quite familiar with the positioning from press ups and plank positions and stuff in the past. So it's really important in this exercise to lock your lats down and your shoulders back and down. Uh, my elbows are a bit locked there, they should be a, a little bit bent to help engage the lats. It's a false grip on the bar with my hands, so that's thumbs next to my fingers as opposed to wrapped under. It's quite similar for muscle up training and gymnastics training etc. My feet are in the headrest and I'm just basically moving the carriage using my lats and my abdominals and just locking in everything strong. So I really like this exercise. Uh, it's really difficult as you come in over the bar because your the leverage is really difficult in your shoulders. But it's a great it's a great one. Now we're moving into the down stretch exercise. This is really tricky for me because I'm quite tight in my hip flexors. So the trick here is to engage your butt and push the carriage away the whole time, even when you're coming in. You have to lift your chest up and you have to use your lats to do that and I like to use my chest and my shoulders a lot of times. This is really tricky to coordinate properly I find um, and test your grip as well because you're holding the bar the whole time but really good for learning how to not go into your lower back. I, I really like to go into my lower back by not engaging my butt and being lazy because I'm really flexible in the extended position so this is a great exercise to help strengthen the muscles that rotate the pelvis under you and prevent you from straining the lower back. Okay, now we're going into up stretch. Again, you see there, just have to lock the shoulders and lats down, gripping the bar quite tight, put the weight over my sort of the ball of balls of my feet over my toes and just using my abdominals here you've got to lift up and go back pushing the carriage out you have to control lowering your body and then as you come in here there over the bar that's really difficult the leverage position is quite similar to training for a planche you can see Amy's really impressed with that like that that felt really good that was the best best so far out of all the five weeks of training that was the best for my head and yeah I'm quite proud to say I'm making it look look quite easy there just after five weeks so that's that's really great this exercise here is called elephant it's a really fine exercise it's really subtle I should say it's a really subtle movement you have to control your core in a such a way that your whole upper body doesn't move it should just be your legs that move the carriage out and everything else should stay still. You really have to fire up your buttocks and your your back and lat muscles and shoulders to hold everything. Um, and the secret here is a small controlled range of motion as opposed to a large range of motion. And it, this really tests my flexibility in, in a lot of areas. And then we move up into the one-legged versions, which is really difficult um, for stability. And then it progresses from there into one leg and one arm or opposite arm opposite leg for an even harder variation. <laughs>